fuck is up, y'all? What it do? Welcome back to Get Tactical. I'm your host, DZ. Let's get it. All right, y'all. So real quick, as you can tell by the title of the video, we're talking about the Palmetto State Armory PX9. All right. It's chambered in 9mm. Real quick, let me show you guys. She is empty. Nothing in the mag. Bolts open, right? So let me tell you about it. Uh, some of you guys may have seen this pistol uh, on my gun collection video. That's the first one I did it on. And then um, it's also featured in Shooting the Breeze, right? If you haven't checked it out, come on now. Check it out. You already know what I'm about to say, man. First of all, if you haven't done so already, go ahead and drop a like on this thing. If you haven't done so already, subscribe. And I'm going to need y'all to do me another favor, man. Share it. Tell your friends. Tell your mama. Share this video, man. We going up, all right? So... I bought this gun about two years ago. It's my first time doing a full review on it, okay? And uh, let's get it. All right, so real quick, uh, this gun comes plain, right? None of this extra bells and whistles on it. I did the upgrades. I'm going to tell you about that in one second. Uh, but anyway, it's an 8-inch pistol, right? It's got a nice little uh, device up here, muzzle brake device. It kind of looks like a can, but it isn't a can. It's not a silencer. It's just a muzzle brake. I just think that looks pretty cool. 8-inch barrel, right? <laughs> And then you got this mag release right here that's extended, you know, versus coming all the way up here, stretching my hand out, right? I can just easily boop, press it and the mag falls out. And one thing that I really like about this is this magazine is really responsive. As you can see, empty magazine, right? When you press it, it flies out. Really responsive. I like that. You know, it's a good feature that I like. On my AR 5.56 pistol, it's not that responsive. But, you know, it still gets the job done. But I do like the responsiveness of this mag release, okay? So this gun does come with one ETS mag, right? 33 rounds, which all the malfunctions that I have had out of this pistol was from this. Trash. But uh, anyway, you know, as you see, I got the 15-round Glock mag. This thing is so sick because anything that takes Glock's mags, anything that takes Glock's mag, Glock mags, I should say, um, you guys know it can take anything from the 10-round mag, you know, to the 30, as you just seen, all the way up to the 50, and even the 100-round monkey nuts. Y'all seen those. This thing can take anything. Now, I haven't tried the drum on this thing yet, uh, the 50 or 100, because I just haven't had the time to go get one. I want one that would be nice on this thing. Drop something down in the comments below to let me know what you think about it, all right? All right, so that's pretty much the main features about this pistol. It's got a Magpul hand guard on here that's pretty nice. It's really comfortable. You guys could add, you know, a little extra stuff down here that you want. I've seen some YouTubers do that. It's got an M-Lock rail, which I do plan on later, adding a flashlight to this thing, because why not? So, upgrades. Upgrades what I've done to this pistol. Like I said, it comes plain, no sights on it. I did have a pair of iron sights on here. I ended up swapping them out. And I just stayed with this uh, Vortex Strike Fire 2. Now, for those of you guys who aren't familiar with the Strike Fire 2, all right, it has the capability to have a red dot or a green dot, which is really, really sick. You know what I mean? Out in the daytime, I feel like the green picks up a little bit better, especially at night. The green definitely picks up better. But, it, you know, uh, if you're colorblind or you just want to switch it up, you know, why not? You can switch from red to green. Strike Fire 2 by Vortex. It's an awesome sight. I stay on, on target all the time with this thing. It's nasty. Nasty. I recommend Vortex to anybody. I'm not sponsored by Vortex by any means, but I do recommend getting something like this because they're stand, they stand behind their product. Any lifetime warranty, if anything goes wrong with this thing, I send it back to Vortex. They send me a brand new one. Like that. So that's how your boy got it over here, man. All right, let me show you what else I did to this thing. So it comes with the regular fixed uh, shockwave brace, right? But what I did is I went ahead and got tactical with it. I put the little folding brace on. Come on, let's go. Here we go. Come on, baby. Uh, so the bolt is locked back, right? You can't shoot this thing with the uh, with the fold with the stock folded. Got to send the bolt forward, all right? Then you press this little button right here on the side. I don't know if you can see that right there. Bam! Perfect, right? She ain't going nowhere. So the reason why you don't want to shoot this thing with the stock folded is because the bolt will come back and it'll fuck it up, 
right? I don't know if it'll fuck up your gun, but it'll fuck some shit up. And it even says right here, do not fire when open, just in case some of you guys thought about it, right? Uh, but yeah, that's some of the attachments I did to this thing. Let me load it up a little bit and get tactical real quick. All right, y'all, so a couple things that has been bothering me about this uh, AR pistol. So when I first looked at this gun, right, it was for four, no, it was for nine forty nine, right? And then it, they had like some type of sale going on. I think it was like Labor Day sale or something like that. Um, then they took it down to like eight forty nine, and then it was like seven forty nine. That's when I purchased it. Then tell me why a month later, I'm on there looking for some magazines. I seen the same pistol for like four forty nine. And then a couple weeks later, I went back on the website, seen it again, and it was back up to nine forty nine. Guys, just do your research when you're shopping for anything. So that's one thing that I don't like is that the price was inconsistent for this thing. But for the most part, is it reliable? Is it worth it? Yes. When you use Glock mags and you're really getting some good range time at the range, this can be an excellent, phenomenal uh, AR pistol chambered in nine mil. Right? This could be a backpack gun. Now, since I have the uh, Sylvan Arms foldable brace on it, foldable stock, that's what it's called, Sylvan Arms, right? It was an easy install for that as well. Let me go ahead and show you. This thing will fit right in the backpack. Boom. And you're gone. Load that up, zip it up, throw extra magazines in there, you know, whatever you want to do. This could be your EDC, pretty much, you know? So that's my thoughts and opinions on the palmetto state armory px9 i definitely think it's worth the money especially if you buy it on one of those deals that i told you about but if you guys do have the cash and you're looking for an ar9 uh in the ar platform you wouldn't be you wouldn't be disappointed with this thing at all it's very nice so a couple more upgrades like i said i may do to it uh, actually, I'm going to do to it. I'm going to put a flashlight on this thing because if I carry it, if it sits next to my bed, I want to have it for, you know, low light conditions. Let's say somebody tries to break in at night or whatever. You know, it's always nice to have that flashlight just in case. Right. Guys, like I've said before, over and over and over again, I appreciate each and every one of you that is interacting in the comments that is liking the videos sharing it subscribing it and even just viewing it guys everything counts in order to help me out get that algorithm going okay i appreciate it i want to say go ahead share the video with your friends tell your mama like it subscribe if you haven't done so already and also man stay strapped it's a crazy world we live in you know um people aren't just getting killed by these uh, two brothers in Canada that went on a stabbing spree killed, what, 12, 10, 12 people, right? Or injured 15, something like that. And these guys had knives, right? That's way more dangerous and way more scary than a gun, you know, something that's loud, right? 10 times out of 10, if you're in the middle of a store or school or whatever, you hear a loud boom, everybody's going to be alerted. They're going to be scrambling around, going crazy. But it's scary if somebody's walking up to people and just, mm, or even mm, right in the neck. Right. You could be bleeding out. You know, if you're in a store, somebody can get stabbed in the next aisle. You won't even know. They'll just be bleeding out. Somebody could just walk up and just bam, get you. Bam, get your family member. Bam, 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 bam. Just start poking people. You don't even know. That's, in my opinion, stabbing is worse than shooting. Right. Because at least with that loud, pow, you'll get you'll get alerted. You'll be like, what the fuck is going on? You know, you'll be more uh, in the mode ready to react. Knives are way more dangerous, guys. So that's why I say, man. You know the motto around here, stay strapped or get clapped. Don't forget to like, don't forget to subscribe. As usual, guys, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. And you know me, baby, like I always say, because it can go down anywhere. And if it does go down, you better be ready to get tactical.
no recoil. Catch you on the next one.